Hello and welcome to this course on Hadoop. In this first class, we'll be taking a look at how to navigate through the operating system. This is a Linux CentOS operating system. I'm making use of Cloudera's virtual machine for Hadoop. So it comes pre-installed with the Hadoop software. Um, so you can use that or you can use uh, some other vendor or you can try to install Hadoop by yourself if you're comfortable doing that. But uh, we will assume that you already have Hadoop installed. So with that, let me start. You are going to be using a virtual machine for your Hadoop training. So this here represents your virtual machine environment. The virtual machine is a, it's like a computer inside a computer. This is your Windows operating system. And within that you have your Linux virtual machine, the CentOS virtual machine. And within the, this virtual machine, you have your Hadoop system installed. So returning to the Linux uh, virtual machine now, we will open the Linux uh, file system. There are two ways to access the file system, either through a graphical user interface or through the terminal. So just double click and you will see uh, the list of all files in your uh, Linux virtual machine. And uh, you can minimize it like this. If you do that, it will go back to the bottom here and you can access it later if you want. You can also open the terminal. You can double click on the terminal icon here and that will open the terminal and uh, this here is a terminal and here you can check i'm just going to type in a command ls space dash l and that will list all the files and folders we need to understand uh, two things with respect to um, the file system there are two kinds of uh, entities one is called a, a folder or a directory and another is called a file um, so for example here all these are examples of files um, you can click one of these and you can actually see um, what's inside the file. So there is some data inside the file here. Um, on the other hand, a folder is a place where you can store multiple files. So for example, you have this my data folder and within that you have all these different files. Now on the top, you can also see there is a hierarchy here. So you have higher level folder called training and within that you have the my data subfolder or subdirectory. So folders and directories can be used interchangeably. Uh, they mean the same thing. So if you click inside one other subfolder, you can further look at uh, maybe other subfolders or files. So any folder or subfolder can contain other subfolders or it can contain files or it can contain both subfolders and files. I'll now go back to the main training folder. And within that, uh, you can create subfolders. So for example, you can go to file and you can say create folder and uh, you can give it a name. I'm just going to call it a new folder. So here it is. Uh, we just created a folder called a new folder or you can call it, you can right click on it and you can rename it. Or you can call it my Hadoop folder or you can give it any name you want and it will be sorted and arranged alphabetically. Now, well, I'm just going to delete this for now and uh, you can move it to trash. Instead, what I want to point out is within this training folder, there is a subfolder called my data. So I'd like you to now create uh, a subfolder called my data. So please go ahead and uh, create, go to file, create folder and call that my data. Uh, that's already here. That's already here. So I won't try to do this here, but you should go ahead and try to create a subfolder called my data and within the subfolder go ahead and create uh, different folders called class one class two class three and so on i'll just create one here so go back to file create folder call it class one um, and go ahead and create class two and class three and so on so as you will have guessed by now the my data folder will contain all the class work that we do in this particular class. Now you can go ahead and minimize it if you want. We will now open our terminal. You can double click on this or if you already have it open, you can click on the terminal tab here. And now we will see how to navigate the various files and folders using the terminal. Now in Linux, an important command that is used to navigate, to list all the files is ls. Um, just like that ls now just want to point out one thing what you see here all the way uh, till this dollar sign is called a prompt uh, 
Now after that, you can just type in your commands. So ls is a command that you can type in. So go ahead and type in the command and press enter. And you will see a list of all the files and folders in this particular directory. What you see here is you don't you just see all the files and folders listed in multiple uh, rows and you don't see it in this format to see it in this format with some additional information about these files and folders you can type in ls space dash l so that is ls space dash l press enter and now you will see a list of files and folders now how do you tell if something is a folder or a directory you will see the letter d at the start right here so all these are directories all of these are directories here this one here is a file so employees.java is a file and it does not contain a D here. So that's how you can tell whether something is a, uh, a, a directory that is a folder or a file. And you also see some RWX, RWX and so on. So this basically pertains to permissions. Okay, so R stands for read, W stands for write and X stands for execute. This basically highlights what kind of permissions you have as a user. This one here uh, refers to the file size and this refers to the date when the file was created and the year when it was created. Right now, at any given point uh, within your Linux system, you're in what is known as a working directory. So you're in some folder or the other, some working directory or the other. So what is that working directory? So you can uh, print the working directory by using this command pwd. PWD stands for print working directory and you can press enter and it will then tell you the directory where you're currently located and in this directory when you type ls or ls-l um, either one you can see all the folders and files that are located inside the home slash training directory now just to make the connection between this and your uh, the file browser here so in the file browser, you have the training directory and you have all these subdirectories or subfolders in it. And then you have some of these files in it too. So that's exactly what you're seeing here as well. So home training and within that you have all these files. Now there is something called the root folder or the root directory. And that is simply, uh, you, can, you can get to that by just typing cd space forward slash. And if you do that, you're now in the root directory. How can you tell? Type pwd for print working directory and you will see very simply just this forward slash so this is the topmost directory that contains every other directory in your linux system and if you do a ls here you'll see a completely different set of files how do you get back to your home directory the home directory is the default directory that you are in as soon as you log in you get to that by just typing cd and press enter so now you are in your home directory and you can do a pwd to see what that is your home directory is home forward slash training so again there's a little potential for confusion here home directory basically means the default directory where you will be when you uh, sign in but here you have a separate directory here called home so don't let that confuse you the the default directory is home forward slash training so what we'll do now is uh, we'll open the terminal once again and um, I'm going to zoom this. I go to view and zoom in and zoom in again so that it's sufficiently large for us to view. And now what I want to do is I want to show how to navigate through your directory system or file system. So again, you're in the home slash training uh, folder and you can see the um, if you want to move into so if you do ls uh, you can see there is a file there's a folder called my data that you already created if you have not created go ahead and create it from uh, um, the training home uh, from the uh, file navigator so if you just come back here let's assume that you have a folder called my data you can move into this folder by typing cd cd stands for change directory to my data and if you do this, now you're inside my data and you can look at PWD and you can see your uh, working directory, which is now home training my data. If you want to go back to your previous directory, you can just type CD space dot dot. And that takes you back to your previous directory, which is home training. 
what if you want to create a directory you want to create a new directory called test dire so i'm just going to create a directory called test dire to do that you do mkdir that stands for make directory test dir and now you can change into that directory cd test dir i'm going to create a temporary file called test1.txt so there's uh, here's one way to do that you can do touch test1.txt that just creates an empty file and you can do an ls and you'll see there's a file called test1.txt and you can remove this file so to remove a file you say rm space test1.txt and it'll ask you whether you want to remove it and you can say yes um, let's create this again now the neat thing about all these commands is i don't have to retype it so i can just press the up arrow in my keyboard and if i press the up arrow twice or uh, thrice i can bring up the previous command touch text1.txt and you can again see that the file is created i'm going to do, now pull up that command i can now edit that test2.txt so now if you do ls there's three of them I again press the up arrow twice and pull up that same command and create another one called test3.txt ls and now there are three files here test1 test2 test3 and you can say rm um, star now this is a powerful command because it's going to remove all the files so if you say enter it's it'll go it'll ask you whether it should remove each file i'm going to say yes 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 and now there is nothing here you can cd back and if you want to remove this test directory you can say rm dir test dir and then the test directory will be removed so these are all some of the basic navigation uh, techniques in linux